Hi, so this is the new interface for Convertix to DVD5. I'm going to show you exactly what has changed. So let's insert a file. So you were used to see all your settings here in the tree view and uh, now they're all gone because everything is going to take place in this big preview window. So, okay, th so the first thing is that you can now watch the file before you convert it. So make sure everything is fine with the original. So you play it and you can fast forward it just like a normal video player and I don't know if you can hear it that the audio is there too okay so now on to all the the options they're all here at the bottom of the main preview window let's start with the audio so again uh, this is something you knew before but it's shown in a way that uh, you can't get it wrong now really uh, you can add a new audio stream or edit the audio and apply your preferred settings same thing with the subtitles you can add the subtitles and the main new thing is that they are going to be shown here in the preview window so no more problems with desynchronization or uh, the subtitles not showing at the right place everything will now here be in the window so you will be able to edit them if needed then on to the chapters uh, the chapters now, you can set them manually exactly at the right place. See that? There. So, this is very intuitive and no more problems with the chapters. Okay? Now, on to the main, uh, one of the main new features as well is the brightness and contrast. And again, you can see the changes live up there. Um, you can also rotate the picture now. This was a problem with, with some uh, videos from camcorders or mobile phones that were flipped. So now you can put them back in the right uh, place. Okay, now on to the TV format. So depending on where you are going to watch the DVD, your TV screen, you can set the image to be shown exactly the way you want it to be or even apply your own um, settings. and. If you watch the preview up there, you can see that the, the changes are shown live, okay? And uh, the cut options, so this is to remove unwanted parts of the video like commercials or anything you want to delete from the video. There is actually um, a demo that I did last month about this new feature, so I really um, encourage you to go and have a look at it on YouTube. You will see how easy it is. And then the last one is the merge option. So this you knew before, but this, this is it. This is where all the options are now. And I think it's much easier for you uh, to, to add all, all your settings and um, it will make your video converting a much easier task. So thank you. Bye-bye.